Hey guys, Tonic here. A few hours ago, Bethesda updated the PTS so we could get an early look at two new events that are coming in the Once in a Blue Moon update. So in this video, I'm going to quickly go over the new events and show some gameplay. So with that being said, let's get right into it. For the first event, let's take a look at Beasts of Burden. This event will take place right here on the map down in the Cranberry Bog at the Cranberry Glade, and the location here has been totally redone. This is how it looks now on live servers, it's just an empty area with some Mylurks walking around, but over on the PTS it is now a Mothman Cultist base, and it's a pretty good size. This is a view from the very back of the base, and there are a ton of new shacks with bridges connecting them. It looks pretty cool. But moving on, for the new event you will find Luca Costa waiting outside the base. He will say that the group of cultists stole his Brahmin and his cargo of makeshift explosives, and he will ask you for help. You can start the event through his dialogue, and the first objective was to head over to the camp. Now during all of this, he will communicate with you through a radio, but once you are there you just have to kill these power armored mothman sanctifiers, and they really weren't too tough, but once you do kill them you have to loot his explosives from them. And once you have the explosives, you just have to run around and place them on a few doors around the camp. The doors are pretty easy to find, they all look like this broken wooden door. I'm not really sure why we have to blow them up, they look pretty busted already. And it almost looks like you should be able to just kick it in or reach in and open it. But we do have to blow it up, so once you have the explosives placed, you just have to stand back and let them blow open the wooden doors. Once we were in, we just had to take the loot from the buildings and deliver it to a pack brahmin in a shack towards the front of the camp. Now you can only carry one piece of loot at a time and we had to do this a few times, but we had a ton of people so it went by pretty fast. But after we filled it up with loot, one of the new cryptids spawned in. This one is the Agua and it's a turtle like cryptid. Now again we did have a ton of people here for this one and most of them were high level so it was very easy to take down. But it did look pretty neat and I kind of like how it would go into its shell to hide from damage. But after the event, I did get this unique legendary weapon with these really cool Mothman drawings on there. It's called the Elder's Mark and is plus 5% damage for each consecutive hit on the same target up to 45%, plus 25% weapon speed, and plus 15% reload speed. So a pretty decent unique legendary weapon. Then I did also get this trading card. And over on the back it says Cryptic Cards Miniseries. Explore the mysterious world of real life cryptids in this limited series. See the creatures that science cannot explain in this astounding collection of cards. So it looks like we are going to be able to collect these over time. And then lastly I did also get this plan for a Cryptid Hunter boonie hat. And here is how that hat looks on character. It's honestly kind of cool it has these cryptid teeth going all around the top. Next up let's take a look at the safe and sound event. This event will take place at the Middle Mountain Cabins, and again the area has been totally redone. On live servers, it's just a few cabins with some rad scorpions hanging around, but over on the PTS it is now a big Blue Ridge Caravan outpost. And inside the outpost you will find some new characters. In the general store you will find a new character named Vera. Hey there, what can I do for ya? Who, me? Oh, um, not much to say really. Came from a bit back out west? My daddy worked for Blue Ridge driving trucks for Joanna. Well, before the bombs, I mean, when roads were in one piece and trucks weren't just explosive target practice. Being a rookie, Vinny set me up looking after the Brahmin here. Guess he doesn't think I'm ready to travel as a caravaner yet. She has a good amount of dialogue and some pretty cool lore that you can discover when talking with her. She also does sell some basic items. You have some Brahmin milk and then some junk items and some other random things. But heading over to the bar you can find another new character named Clyde. And Clyde is sort of interesting. He just doesn't talk, and he does sell some basic drink items. But moving on to the new event here, this one is kind of neat. When you get here, you will find that the place has been overrun with animals. The critter repellent system malfunctioned, and they got overrun. So it starts with you having to clear out the area and repair some circuit breakers around the camp. And once those are fixed, the machine will fire back up, but something happens, and it's actually attracting more creatures instead of driving them away. So it turns into sort of a wave defense event where you have to hold off waves of animals and creatures and defend the machine until they can get it working again. 
This one is kind of basic, but it is really fun. The machine makes some really cool noises and it has some great effects. Now I will say that between both of these events, they really need to boost the enemy spawns. It just didn't seem like many were spawning. Maybe it's because of the amount of players at the event, or maybe that's just how they are. But it is one thing I noticed right away, there's just not a whole lot of enemies. Now this will probably change a bit over the course of the PTS, they usually tweak settings like that a ton. But getting right back to the event, after defending for a while we had the blue devil spawn in, another new cryptid with this update. This one is sort of like a werewolf, and again just like the last event there were so many players here at this event, and it got taken down really fast. So I didn't really get to see a whole lot of its attacks or anything like that, but when it died I did notice that it used the deathclaw death animation. So that was kind of interesting, it does sort of look like a deathclaw when you're fighting it. But overall, I did like this event, I just think it could use slightly higher spawn rates. After this event, I got a Cryptid Jawbone Knife, and this one restores 2% health over 2 seconds when you hit an enemy, plus 40% weapon speed and weapons break 50% slower. I also got this Brahmin Skin Rug, and then lastly, I did also get this card for a Sheep Squatch. And here is what that plan looks like when you place it down. It's kind of basic, it's just a Brahmin Skin Rug, but it does seem like there's a lot of good rewards with this update. But that is pretty much going to be it for this video, I just wanted to take a quick look at the new events. The new Blue Ridge quests are not in this round of testing, on the inside the vault it says, please note that the daily Costa Business quests will not be active during this iteration of the PTS. So I'm not really sure when those are coming or if we will even see them before Once in a Blue Moon comes out, but if those do end up getting added into the PTS at some point, I will be sure to make another video on that. But again, that is pretty much going to be it for this one, so I would like to say thank you so much for stopping by and watching, I really do appreciate it. And as always, I would like to give a massive thank you to all of the channel members. Barrett Codes, Arjun Deer, Joe Pervincente, Shaky Hands Workshop, Mazader, Leo the Collector Plays, Death 93 Loopy, Adam Steins, and Terry Lockridge, Zapper, Robert Kennard, CRM114, Theodore, Slappy Sauce, King Kittens, Omniprotus, Victrix, Axel, Kevin W, Anna S, Fallout McFly, Networkgate, Golti, Lanthar, Captain Awesome, some Citizen Girl, Heather Henderson, Patrick Ruta, 23 Ice Fire, Jay Smith, Bowser Double Frank, Christy Mellon Schwitz. Thank you guys so much. I love you guys and have a great day.